I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The Ambies don't got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <coughs> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? All that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. No oh, eye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us, isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Edernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Um, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima, and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press-ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. 
Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Frankly, I don't really know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorcerers or necromancy involved. Gave me this. A concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I. But I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. Huh. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Higher Ox, or Famous Rudanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estiken, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Beware. 